At uh, EACC meeting there with stakeholders, uh, EACC Chair Elid Wabukala. We will be going back to that event in a short while, but uh, let's hear from our guests in studio about your thoughts on the performance of the EACC Chair so far, uh, Kip Kule. Uh, well, I think uh, Wabukala has not been tested, really, uh, in his position as EACC. He's still enjoying the party of coming in is the guy from the religious leadership. So we are still giving him the benefit of doubt. In terms of his performance, he has he's yet to, to be tested. Yeah. That's what I can say. And testing for you would mean what? A huge scandal hitting and how he handles it. But there have been many scandals, others would argue. Can he not dig in to see how he can resolve those? I, I think first, I'm one of those few Kenyans, uh, perhaps not very few, who contend that uh, I, EACC may not be that necessary at all um, because we have what we call uh, significant uh, institutions of fact-finding uh, that uh, give us uh, these details. If you look at the issue of looting public offers and look at the Auditor General's report, you realize that all this information is really digestible there and it's actionable. And ESCC may not be one of those institutions that I'm a fanatic of, but looking at the tenure of uh, the good uh, uh, man of God, um, he's not yet to be tested. I think the owners of corruption have not yet found a reason uh, to go for his jugular. Uh, like any other, uh, you know, history uh, that we've had with the other commission chairs, you realize that when things become thick and you become very bold and you want to go after them, uh, they seem to have uh, more power and control over um, institutions in this country that they will use then to frustrate uh, his progress. But the, for the period that he's been in, we've seen uh, quite some um, interesting moves from the commission. Uh, the recent crackdown on the National Land Commission officials, uh, where some 1700, 17 million shillings was recovered. Uh, we have seen other cases, uh, you know, being brought up. And, and I'm sure the entry, the, 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 the entry in, on, in his office is quite full. And he needs to continue acting um, pragmatically. And, and to be in that office, yeah. you need what we could call ruthless pragmatism. Yeah. Uh, you know, befriending and unfriending uh, without, uh, you know, emotions and being able to work. But the way the Kenyan political uh, corruption is rooted politically, it's going to be quite a challenging task. And okay. I'm happy that uh, he's uh, seeking God's intervention into this work. Yeah. Let, let's go back to the NASA campaigns. And, and today they're heading to Kisi this afternoon. They'll be there earlier before we went to that uh, event. We were talking about the choice of Kisi County. And you said that perhaps being seen as a battleground, they're trying to uh, farm that up. Uh, the question is, wouldn't it, for those who would argue, be more prudent coming from Nakuru, first ensure you go to the uh, strongholds uh, where the five are, quote unquote, kingpins, to consolidate that and sort of like say homecoming, as politicians like to call them, and then go on now to tighten up the loose ends? I think uh, the choice of Gusi and uh, coming from Nakuru is a bit more strategic for NASA because uh, their strongholds are intact. It's like going to preach to the converted already. So the best thing is to go out there, look out, because you're, we are, we're only having less than three months to go to the next election. And the country is huge, it is vast. And now considering that this comes from the, we are coming here just from a few weeks, ago, a few days ago, the Jubilee Brigade was in Kisi, and they have been really having a sustained uh, onslaught, mm -hmm. trying to get the Gusi vote. So it is prudent that um, coming after the defection of the Kisi, the defection and redefection. Redefection. Yeah, of the, the, the Kisi deputy. Son yeah, going the, back home. yeah, yeah, the prodigal son <laughs> moment, and yeah. he has come back home. So if really they consider Gusi as home, yes. they, they need to go back there and reaffirm that message. And you can even see from uh, former minister and now former ambassador Samongeri, mm -hmm. he, he, he just came straight from a state appointment and went into opposition to NASA. And then also uh, Richard Onyonka. So what we are seeing is that there is something happening in Gusiland which NASA need to move in and move with speed and show that this is our territory. Yeah. yeah. And what we had in the last uh, rally, you know, uh, Mukwanja, and perhaps are expecting to hear today, we also heard yesterday from uh, uh, the presidential candidate, Ray Laudinga, is concerning this um, matter court case in a court of appeal uh, regarding the telling of the presidential election. Yeah. Um, 
and we had as well from the CJ yesterday who said we are not going to be allow sentiments uh, from politicians affect our work. We are an independent organization or entity. What do you make of what is being seen as a threat to boycott uh, the election if things do not go their way? I think the most important thing is to have a conversation around these issues and the court is having a conversation on the issue and the political circles are also doing a conversation on the issue i think the only uh, thing that is quite dicey in the whole process is why is it that it is the independent electoral boundaries commission that went to court uh, to seek an interpretation of this as much as it's within uh, their liberty to do so uh, the on the surface it doesn't look as good the intentions the underlying intentions may be good but on the surface of it it is not good particularly that one of the you know political sides mm -hmm. is of the view that the returning officer for the presidential election is the IEBC chairman but you see that is in the laws and and then the, then the judiciary should have a final say on the interpretation but again the you cannot stop the opposition from having this conversation mm -hmm. so in in all respects i think uh, uh, the prime the former prime minister Raila Odinga and the nasa presidential candidate has all uh, you know within his rights uh, to bring out these issues that does not stop the court from you know uh, adjudicating and superintending on this matter and giving us the direction uh, because the high court uh, has uh, unanimously already delivered a ruling mm -hmm. on this and this the IEBC has gone to the Court of Appeal for constitutional interpretation. So if that comes before yeah, the elections, well and good. If it doesn't come before the elections, then the position is okay. that uh, August 8th, constituency returning officers will be fine. Will in terms be of final. And we'll hear from you on the same. But I yeah. want to take us now uh, to Mombasa County, to the Technical University uh, of Kenya, where the governors from the coast region are coming together to form what they're calling an economic block. And currently, uh, the Mombasa governor, Ali Hassan Joho, is addressing, uh, let's 